Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Robert Irvine Foundation Salute to Our Heroes virtual concert, honoring our veterans and first responders. Please rise where you are for the singing of the national anthem by gospel artist and retired U.S. Navy Petty Officer, First Class, Janero Wilson. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red clear the bombs bursting in gave rules through the night that our flag was Now, please welcome your host, British Royal Navy veteran and host of Restaurant Impossible, Chef Robert Irvine. What's up, guys? Chef Robert Irvine here, and I am thrilled to welcome you to the first ever Salute to Our Heroes virtual concert. We're getting ready to kick off an incredibly special program for you tonight. I'm talking about exclusive performances by some pretty amazing artists, Mark Robert, Justin Moore, Kelly Pickler and Craig Morgan, and heartwarming stories of the lives that we've been able to change forever because of your support. Tonight, of course, would not be possible without our partners, Comcast Business, American Airlines, Veterans United, and Ferguson Kitchen Bath and Lighting. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to serving our military veterans, first responders, and their families. It's because of partners and individuals like you that we're able to make a real difference. Now, tonight is really important to me because I get to show you firsthand the impact we're making in the lives of veterans and first responders through the Robert Irvine Foundation. I can promise you one thing, you're going to fall in love with these heroes just as much as I am. As much as tonight is about amazing music, it's also about continue our efforts to improve the lives of those who serve. Throughout the show, I hope you'll feel inspired to make a donation to the Robert Irvine Foundation. There are three easy ways to give. One, you can text RIF to 76278. Two, you can scan the QR code by opening your camera on your smartphone and holding it up to the QR code on the screen. And three, you can visit robertirvinefoundation.org and click the red donate button at the top of the page. And tonight, every dollar makes an even bigger difference. Because for each dollar raised, American Airlines will donate 25 Advantage miles, up to 5 million miles, so that we can continue our work all across the world. Now, I couldn't think of a more powerful way to open tonight's show than with a story about a hero who served five combat tours in Afghanistan and Iraq, and nearly lost his life when he came into contact with an improvised explosive device. He's overcome unimaginable trauma and is a living, breathing testimony to the courage to overcome. We're proud to partner with Veterans United for this incredible moment. Please watch this. Hello, I am so happy to join the Avila family tonight. I wish that we could be there in person 
and knowing that we can't because of the crazy world we're in in 2020. I am so excited to see this family on the Zoom with me. And I would love to take a second to introduce the Avila family, starting with Captain Avila and Claudia <laughs> and Luis, Miguel and Jose. It is such a pleasure to be with you guys today. And I am joined here with Robert Irvine from the Robert Irvine Foundation. Well, first of all, thank you, Pam. To the Avila Valley, what's up? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so cool, I wish, I wish I could be there with you. Unfortunately, COVID, we can't, but this is the next best thing, except Claudia, you know, giving me 500 texts every hour. I appreciate that since 2012. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but I have to share with the, with the viewers and listeners um, what a, an amazing past we have. Um, not only is Luis Captain Luis Avila an amazing American hero, um, but he's got a hero family, starting with you, Claudia, um, Luis, Miguel, and Jose, and uh, what you have done since uh, 2011 when Luis uh, was injured is absolutely amazing, and I. I use you an awful lot in when I travel and do my TV shows, when I do my talks, and uh, as a family that is truly an American family. And I don't get paid any of royalty. <laughs> I met the Avila family in July of 2012, and, and Luis was uh, injured. Um, in 2011, late 2011. And they told me the story before I went to, to uh, Luis's room. And in the room, I saw Claudia, uh, Luis, Miguel, and Jose. And the boys were a little younger then. This was, you know, eight years ago, almost nine years ago. Um, and Claudia, if you remember, you told me that he was a big fan of Dinner Impossible and, and he would recognize my voice. Um, it was such an amazing moment just to talk, and I mean that sincerely, um, here we are nine years later saying this because you're part of my personal family. Obviously, we spend a lot of time uh, together at events and, and talking and all that sort of stuff, but it was such a pivotal moment to see, you know, uh, the America that we, that Luis was fighting for and, and to see it in, in this family. Um, and I got to tell you, uh, it, it brought a tear to my heart. If you remember, a couple of my guys had to leave and um and we spent some time together and i said to him mr luis avila captain luis avila i said listen you get better and i'll make you a meal <laughs> and you gotta be eating it right <laughs> and, and i stuck to my word is that true thank you for the tiny steak and lobsters <laughs> what, what, the folk, what the folks don't know when he says when Luis says tiny steaks there were 96 ounce steaks oh. <laughs> that was what a down payment that was a down payment for the deal yes yeah. well I, I want to bring Pam back in because Pam is another amazing friend of ours um ours and I mean the family here um and without Pam uh, and all the work that she does and I mean all the work she does uh, that travels endlessly and tirelessly on behalf of uh, veterans. Thank you, Robert. And uh, you telling those stories just makes me think of the couple times that Claudia and Luis have come out to wherever I was staying on my travels to celebrate. I think two to three years now, we've celebrated Luis's birthday that uh, she finds what hotel I'm at and we have a birthday <laughs> celebration. So I can't thank you guys enough for that. And as uh, Robert said, we, we have been family, uh, just all of us have been family, but Robert Irvine Foundation and Veterans United Home Loans have worked together uh, for many, many years now. And one of the things that we wanted to do uh, through Veterans Day and working with the Robert Irvine Foundation was partnering to make a difference in people's lives throughout the whole year and, on, and ongoing, not just Veterans Day. We, we sat down and talked about what and who we could make this difference for. We're happy to say that it was unanimous that it be the Avila family. On behalf of the Robert Irvine Foundation and Veterans United Home Loans, we have partnered to come together and make a difference, hopefully, in your boys' lives. And you and Claudia, you and 
and Luisa's lives in helping them further their education with a scholarship to each boy. So we are going to present to you guys each boy $5,000 scholarship for this year coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. We hope that will make it a little easier. Claudia has been tremendously hard since 2011 for you. Um, all the work, all the hard work, all the lobbying you've done with, with the senior leadership of the military to, to get the, the help that Luis needs. But what about you guys? I mean, you boys, you, you've grown up with your dad, um, with his injuries. How has that been for you? Times do get rough, but uh, they seem to get better eventually with all the help from you guys and from uh, everyone else. Uh, well, our family has been able to stay together and uh, be happy. Also, with seeing what my father goes through every single day, it gives us a motivation to wake up every single day to like work hard because without him, we wouldn't be where we are today. He gives us a lot of motivation to wake up every single day to work hard. Well, thanks for making me cry on that one. That was really cool. <laughs> I've gained admiration for both my parents, you know, especially my mom, who works hard every day for not just my dad, but also my family and, you know, other people, random people that she wants, like, meets in the hospital. And, you know, that gives me motivation to, you know, become a doctor one day, give back the same, you know, treatment that other patients like my dad, you know, went through. So, that's very special. I mean, we're all blessed. And let me tell you, to be part of, of your extended family is really special because it makes me proud every day to know them. So it's pretty cool. You know, first, on behalf of Luis and our family, I would like to thank you for being there for us every step of the way. You all have been faithful navigators like us and um, have uh, keep our faith, hope and prayers and um, family, friends and country. Like I, that's how I call our miracle warrior road of recovery. I think what has been remarkable is always have the positive attitude and I always see the blessings that we have surrounded us around because it could always be worse. And uh, we always try our best to make it the best and better. I think our working all together is create awareness, being a voice, make sure the one who is coming behind of us don't suffer or go through the same things. He came with one common goal that we have to care for our service members and families. And uh, you all do this in a daily living across the nation with all different service members. We are one of the blessed stories that you are willing to share. It requires a village to move a mountain, is that right? And that's what we all do. And uh, you all are just um, remarkable. I'm very grateful for all of you to honor our kids because military children overall are the hiding heroes and they adapt because that's what we learn in the military. We learn to adapt. And when we adapt, they became, I mean, so happy. They're the love of my life. They're, they keep me strong. I wake up every morning and I go to bed by thinking of them. It's a testament to, to you, obviously, as a mom, but, and, and Luis as a dad. But to these kids that are resilient, you talk about resilience. These are the three young men that whatever they go, they're gonna do amazing. You're, you're part of our extended family. Um, we hope the money helps you a little bit and we'll continue to try and support you um, as, as long as we can, which is means forever. <laughs> All I ask of you three young men is keep doing what you're doing, um, be amazing stewards uh, of a legacy. And your legacy is your mom and dad. On behalf of over 4,000 employees at Veterans United, uh, we're warmed every single time we can partner with people like Robert Irvine Foundation and and let alone make an impact on veterans. But I'm with Robert here, you know, getting to make an impact on a family 
that we know, we love, we've seen struggle so hard that this means the world to us to be able to do this. And, and we hope to continue uh, helping veterans around the world doing things like this. So to the Avila family, you are everyone's hero and you are a prime example of why we do what we do. So thank you so much. And boys, I know you will use this wisely and use it to become even more of the young men that you were meant to be and, and that your mom and dad have raised you to be. So congratulations, study hard, make them prouder than they are now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Pam. Very grateful. Please welcome award-winning country music recording artist and U.S. Army veteran, Craig Morgan. Robert, uh, thanks for having us uh, uh, and giving us the chance and the opportunity and the platform to say thank you to all those men and women that are serving in our military around the country and around the world, we truly appreciate what you do. And we know that if it weren't for y'all, you all standing ready to put yourselves in harm's way to protect us, we wouldn't celebrate the freedoms that we do get to celebrate in the United States of America. So thank you so much for all that you do. We're gonna do a song. I am a country singer. Uh, and it's gonna sound like a country song because I'm country. But it's uh, actually, it wasn't a country song when it was first recorded. But I love doing the song because it talks about the character of those very people that we got to thank at the beginning of this. It's called Soldier. All right, let's do this. That's why it's called a moment of truth, yeah. I'll get it if you need it. I'll search if you don't see it. If you're thirsty, I'll be rain. If you get hurt, I'll take your pain. I know you don't believe it. And I said it and I still mean it. When you heard what I told you, soldier funny when times get hot at the last moment when you're supposed to charge always on the longest yard oh they feel the be getting cold hiding here and hiding there find them underneath the stairs yeah people hiding everywhere trying to be as still as a stone I'll get it if you need it I'll search if you don't see it If you're thirsty, I'll be your rain If you get hurt, I'll take your pain I know you don't believe it I said it and I still mean it When you heard what I told you When you get worried, I'll be your soldier My aim is so If you need it, I'll search if you don't see it. If you're thirsty, I'll be rain. If you get hurt, I'll take your pain. I know you don't believe it, but I said it and I still mean it. When you heard what I told you, when you get worried, I'll be your soldier.
we're going to do uh, another song. Uh, this is uh, a song that uh, we wrote. Uh, we wrote this before the mask mandate, so to speak. Yeah. But uh, it's it's not really about that physical mask that we put on our faces. It's really about the the mask, the front that we all put on to try to get through some of our daily lives. And I know a lot of service members and and first responders uh, put that mask on every day when they go to work. So this one's dedicated to y'all. See me strong Behind my eyes Inside my soul Feels like I'm digging a deeper hole But I put on a smile I lie and I hold on Cause when I get home And it's late at night No one's around And I turn off the light I cry and scream And yell like a crazy man I don't have to pretend that I'm doing well I can tell the world it can go to hell It's just me and God when I take off the mask They say you've got so much going on But in this crowd I'm still alone They don't know cause I hold my head up high there's times I can't get out of bed I'm going around and round inside my head That's when I slip it on so I can hide But when I get home and it's late at night No one's around and I turn off the light I cry and scream and yell like a crazy man I don't have to pretend that I'm doing well I can tell the world it can go to hell It's just me and God when I take off the mask I won't give up I won't give in I won't take it all Till I'm with Him Yeah, when I get home and it's late at night no one's around and I turn off the light I cry and scream and yell like a crazy man I don't have to pretend that I'm doing well I can tell the world it can go to hell It's just me and God when I take off the mask oh. When I take off that mask Very excited to be a part of Robert Irvine's Salute to Heroes. Honoring the first responders, the military, and the veterans who put so much on the line every day and have sacrificed so much so that I can enjoy all the freedoms that I have every day. I send my thanks to all those serving around the world, our communities and our cities. Now, when Robert asked me to be a part of this, I knew that there was something special because recognizing our veterans and our first responders is quintessential to our country's success. I hope you guys are having a great night. So sorry that this couldn't be done in person uh, and we're not getting some of that delicious Robert Irvine food. But, uh, you know, as always, our hearts are with you. Have a great, wonderful virtual concert. Listen, salute to our heroes is going to be awesome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Pam Swan, Vice President of Military Relations at Veterans United Home Loans. Here at Veterans United, we are proud to serve those that have served. One of our core values is enhancing lives every day. We are so proud of our partnership with the Robert Irvine Foundation, helping us identify and meeting the real needs of our community and uplifting our veterans and their families' lives. In the past eight years and well over 500,000 miles, I've traveled with Robert across this country, visiting and talking with our service members and veterans. 
We are so proud to have you enjoying this concert today. So for those active duty veterans and first responders out there this evening, we celebrate you. And on behalf of over 4,000 employees at Veterans United Home Loans, we salute you for your service, your dedication, and the sacrifice to this great nation. Thank you to Robert and the Robert Irvine Foundation for putting this amazing concert on tonight. Thank you so much, Pam. Your partnership means a lot to me personally and to those we serve through the Robert Irvine Foundation. Now, this next story is all about first responders who've truly been on the front lines fighting to protect our health and safety. This year, we wanted to give back in a big way. And let's just say this firehouse will never be the same again. Watch this. I've uh, been in the fire service since 2001 total time. This station that we are based out of covers two thirds of the county. Um, no matter pretty much what you get in this county, if it's fire, EMS, uh, rescue related, we're, we're the people that are gonna come out there and, and, and be there for you. So basically I'm mom and Ann. <laughs> I, uh, I, I try to be the go-to person if anybody needs help with anything. I have been with Hardy County Fire Rescue for almost five years now. I decided to get into this career because of the unknowns every day. Uh, I'm a fifth generation fireman. My dad, grandfather, great grandfather, my great great grandfather were all firemen. Around the station, we're just kind of like a family. And when the ceiling talks, we go. As first responders, we see all kinds of stuff. And I was a lieutenant before I became the deputy chief. and. I was called early in the morning, uh, around probably five o'clock. I've run a lot of calls in my career. Nothing really bothered me um, until one early morning we got called to a motor vehicle crash. One of my firefighters that was under me um, had passed away in a vehicle accident. Getting to the one of the victims in the ditch, I uh, realized it was one of our one of our really good friends. Francisco, he was a um, guy come in to the station smiling, just super happy guy. We'd give his shirt off his back to, to help you out, and that just made it that much worse, seeing him like that. And shortly after, I'm thumping on his chest in the back of the uh, rescue, just thinking, no way, this can't be happening. Tears rolling down my face, uh, doing CPR on him. And uh, that day made me look at things totally different. It's really like losing a family member. So when you come back to work, there's a hole. There's a hole there. Weeks later, I'd be lying in bed, just start crying for no reason. I mean, it just, I'm like, what is going on with me? <laughs> it was at that point I realized that maybe things have been affecting me. Jennifer Medfer, who used to work for AirMed, she asked us if we knew anybody who would be interested in taking Revy for a facility dog. When I first was asked about uh, getting a dog, I wasn't really sure what I was in store for. Um, however, the uh, more of the process that I learned about, I figured that uh, it'd be a huge benefit for our department to have a facility dog in it. And from there on, everybody seemed to be on board. So we, um, we put it in motion and now she's here. We were all pretty excited. Didn't really know what to expect. Uh, you know, we were just thinking, oh, we're gonna have a dog, it's a firehouse. When I found out we were getting Revy, I was like, yes, this is awesome, so exciting. The benefits of having her at our department is definitely increased the overall atmosphere of the department. It also is kind of an, an outlet. Having her there sometimes that helps to uh, let them relieve the stress without having to really talk about it per se as much. We're, we're a pretty close-knit family anyways and then bringing Revy into the mix it's only brought us closer. She's here for our mental health, our stress, our anxieties. Some of the difficulties you have is um, it can weigh heavy on you and you can't get that out of your head or your life and you need someone or something to talk to and and help de-stress. Everybody kind of comes back and decompresses their own way but, but even just the normal day-to-day -day calls, it uh, it helps to take your mind off of it. You know, she brings a smile to your face. She kind of she can sense that there's something going on, and and she she can go up and you know nudge them and and just try to de-stress them. She encourages us 
to get out and be more active. We take her on, on our walks every shift. She obviously, she comes on calls with us in the engine. She, so she's around everything with us. She's experiencing everything we're experiencing for the most part. So anywhere we go, Revy goes. So when we come back, we all will go to the kitchen. Revy will be with us and she just brings up our spirits in a whole. It really does bring everybody together. Having Revy here just brings up the mood, releases your stress. You come back from a call, you just hang out with Revy. She just wants to love on you. I want to thank the Robert Irvine Foundation and our hopes for, for other fire stations of being able to receive a facility dog. We do truly appreciate every everything that y'all have given to us. Thank you for your generosity. It really does help us cope with the stresses that we deal with day in and day out. Thank you for the opportunity of having her uh, in our department and bringing her here. Uh, hopefully we can uh, get this out to other departments. My hope is that everyone can have a Revy, but not my Revy, but one just like her. Please welcome chart-topping powerhouse and award-winning country music singer-songwriter, Justin Moore. Hey everybody, I'm Justin Moore, and I just want to thank you, Robert, for uh, having me be a part of this. And I also want to extend my appreciation for uh, all of our first responders, police officers, firefighters, teachers, nurses, doctors, military, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Thank you, guys uh, and gals. And that's what I wrote this song about, so I'm going to try to play it for you right now. It was a middle of June, she was planning a welcome home barbecue. Green bean casserole, Grandma's recipe. There was a knock on the door around two o'clock. Two uniforms and her hard stop. Yellow ribbon round an oak tree, blowing in the breeze. Here's to the ones that didn't make it back home. The ones we ain't seen in so long. town shut down, the whole town showed up, sang Amazing Grace and watched a slide show up, it's 22 years, there was laughs and there was tears, and that preacher talked about sacrifice, the traffic stop for them Cadillac lights, and Johnny sold beer half price that night, everybody raised Singing, here's to the ones that didn't make it back home. The ones we ain't seen in so long. To hold up a beer once we say we're here once and not forgotten to go. We're in a better place up there. But they sure left to hold out here. We just go on living, go on missing the ones. Back home, back to that front porch, back through that front door, to the life they were fighting for. And here's to the ones that didn't make it back home, the ones we ain't seen in so long, the hold up a beer ones, we say we're here ones, and I forgot Gone. They're in a better place up there but They sure have to hold out here We just go on living Go on missing the ones The ones that didn't make it back home Yeah
ones that didn't make it back home. This is our brand new single. Um, I've never played it. I'm going to try to play it somewhat correctly. <laughs> It's called We Didn't Have Much. And talking trucks and G.I. Joes Jumping those hills to loop and low Plastic cap guns and a swimming hole Don't get no dirt on your church Chasing a girl, chasing a dime Went so far trying to get mine I can see that old coach lie Led me home that night There was dirt on daddy's clothes Putting that bacon on my stove dog Talking in the yard and the truck went on And a little bitty house and a lot of love We had it all when we didn't have love I can still hear Grandma reading Had a red letter book of John I can still hear coffee in the kitchen Old Don Williams on. And there was dirt on daddy's clothes and Putting that bacon on my stove dog Barking in the yard and a truck we don't know All we had was us And a little bitty house and a lot of love We had it all when we didn't house and love we had it all when we didn't have love end our segment with uh, the first big record we ever had on the radio a song called small town usa and uh thank you guys so much for that and again thank you for allowing us uh to be a part of uh this special evening A lot of people call it prison when I was growing up. These are my roots and this is what I love. Cause everybody knows me and I know them and I believe that's the way we're supposed to live. I wouldn't trade one single day. Town USA Give me a Saturday night My baby by my side A little hang And a six pack of light No dirt road I'll be just fine Give me a Sunday morning That's full of grace 
simple life and I'll be okay in a small town USA Around here we break our backs just on a buck Every Back alive on dirt road, I'll be just fine. Give me a sunny morning as full of grace. Simple life, and I'll be okay in small town, USA. Back alive, no dirt road. I'll be just fine. Give me a sunny morning, that's full of grace. Simple life, and I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Small town, USA. to say thank you so much to our veterans and to our first responders. I actually had the opportunity myself to go to Iraq and Afghanistan with our mutual friend, big boy Robert Irvine, to see what you guys do over there and how you actually serve and protect us. And I was blown away. Our troops give up everything and they do it selflessly just to protect us and our everyday civil liberties that we often take for granted. I truly appreciate the sacrifices that you and your families make every single day just to support your country. I know that you guys are the real fighters. I spent a little time in Vietnam a few years ago and I so admire what you men and women of the military do, what you first responders do. Thank you to all the veterans, all the first responders for the sacrifice that you've all made for us. And I couldn't be more grateful. You are my heroes. God! Yeah! From my heart to yours, I know that you guys are fighting for me, and I'm gonna keep fighting for you. Bye! American Airlines has a long tradition of supporting the men and women who serve in the armed forces, and we know that behind each service member is a strong and resilient family that stands guard, taking care of the home front. For the last six years, we've supported Chef Irvine and his team by providing air travel that allows them to do so much for the military community. As the manager of the Military and Veterans Initiatives Program at American, and as an officer who's still serving part-time in the Armory Reserve, I'm grateful knowing that our team members support those who serve in the military, and I know that they truly believe in the mission of the Robert Irvine Foundation. Our main goal at American is to care for people on life's journey. We know that the journeys of those who serve in the military can be very difficult at times, so we're glad to do our part to make it just a little easier. While American Airlines has had our share of challenges over the last nine months, our long-standing commitment to you, our military family, will continue as long as we're able. Like you, we're strong, we're resilient, and we're standing by, cleared for takeoff when you're ready to go. Thanks, Robert, for all you do. Thank you so much, Randy. 
and a huge thank you to American Airlines for enabling me to travel as much as I do to support our armed forces around the globe. You guys are simply awesome. And in case you're just joining us, tonight we're raising money to support the veterans and first responders that are counting on us. For every dollar donated, American Airlines is donating 25 Advantage Miles to the Robert Irvine Foundation, up to 5 million miles. So we can continue to serve our nation's heroes around the globe. We've made it easy to give. You can donate any amount by texting RIF to 76278. If you're smartphone savvy, you can scan the QR code on the screen by opening the camera and holding it up to the QR code on the screen. And of course, you can always visit robertirvinefoundation.org and click the red donate button at the top of the page. Don't forget, we'll take any donation. Now, you know I like makeovers, right? This next story might be one of my favorites. We got a chance to partner with Ferguson Kitchen, Bath and Lighting to surprise any veteran and his family. I think you're going to love this. Meet the Meehan family. AJ and I had uh, just been married about 10 months when I was first deployed to Iraq. I was a tank platoon leader in the 1st Cavalry Division down in Fort Hood, Texas. When we got married, I was 20. And then he, we moved to Texas on my 21st birthday. We drove yeah. across from Pennsylvania all the way down to Texas. Very young and had all these ideas. And we got to Fort Hood and we found out not long after being there that he was gonna be deploying. Unfortunately, I was injured uh, towards the end of our deployment. I uh, stepped on a tripwire and it detonated an IED under, under me. Uh, I was uh, medevaced out and suffered a number of physical injuries, the most serious being traumatic brain injury. After his injuries, we went through a lot of rehab and helping him, and that was a whole new world, being only, again, at that time that I was 22, and on our own, and trying to figure out our new lives together after being apart for so long. And so for the next two years of our lives, that was really dedicated to our our rehabilitation and my rehabilitation. His new process of how to handle everything um, was a roller coaster. Transitioning back into that civilian life was certainly, it was challenging. When you're a soldier, you're, it's not just like a job. It's not just something you do from nine to five. Uh, it's your life. It's, it's really your identity. It's who you become. Ever since then, we've moved 12 times in the 15 years we've been married, and we finally think we're settled now where we're going to be, and that's also exciting for the kids starting new memories. Just with the craziness of everything, that our kids get to see how much people give back, and that these things happen to people, everyday people, that it's not just like something you hear about. The fact that we actually, uh, you know, are, are here now going through this, uh, is, I, I never would have thought that would have happened. Uh, I feel incredibly lucky and just really super happy for the family to, to be here in this situation now. It's exciting as we are getting settled to decide what we're keeping and what we're not keeping. So what things have always been there and kind of are good reminders of where the home has started and what we're changing to make our own, our, our new, our home, our kids, our memories. Our family. Our family. We're so thankful. I mean, there, it's a not even a dream that we thought was possible, and, but it's coming true, and it's so exciting. It's, it's really amazing. Hey, guys. Dave Reed here, and I'm so excited to be in Pennsylvania at the Meehan family home, and it is install day. We're about to go inside, take out old appliances, put some new ones in, install some light fixtures, re-up the bathroom. It's going to be great. But before it gets crazy, let's go on inside and say hello. Come with me. Hi, how's it going? Good. good. Shannon. Good to, see you. good to finally meet you. Hi, how are, how's it going? Hi, AJ. Hi, AJ. Great to finally meet you. This and is the Brady. boys. What's up? Good. How Karen? are you? Hello. And Jameson. Hi, how are you? So here we are, renovation day 
And it looks like you got started without us a little bit. I know, it's been pretty exciting. Ever since we heard about this, that we won this amazing thing, we were able then to do a lot more. So we started knocking out walls, we were taking down tile, it's been really exciting and we can't wait for this day. Oh, that's amazing. Well, let's get started. Great. All right. All right, guys, quick update. We have the old appliances that just went out. The new ones are about to come in. The Ferguson truck just pulled up. Let's go take a look. Ferguson Northeast with the appliances for this deserving family. We're very proud to be able to help a deserving military family. I, as Yvette, myself, find this charity extremely, extremely dear to my heart. So let's get inside and see what's going on. Well, it's been an absolutely incredible day, but it's not over yet. This is Eric with Ferguson, and he's got a special surprise. I do. Hi, my name is Eric. Hi, Eric. Shannon. I'm a former 7th Infantry Division soldier. Oh. Nice. So this, this project is really dear to my heart. I'm so proud of my company that we're going to be able to give back to you guys. And like you said, we do have one more surprise, so why don't you guys follow me outside? All right. All right, guys. Close your eyes when you come out. Just watch where you're stepping. It's so weird not knowing where I'm going. <laughs> Carlos, bring out their surprise. All right, guys, open your eyes. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is, this is awesome. So we ran into a bit of a problem today, but what is a home renovation without a little bit of a hiccup? So they came in with the refrigerator and it was too big, so they're taking down the cabinets and they're gonna make it work today. Well, this project was important to me because Home Advantage believes in helping out the community, helping out our veterans. The great group of people that we have here went really smoothly. Hey guys, how are you? Good, good. Nice to see you, Shannon. Wow. Hey Jay, how are you? Good, how are you? So I hear that uh, we've ripped your house apart and it feels like a restaurant impossible in your house, huh? <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, uh, it's been incredible. Uh, the, the team here has actually done a great job uh, a couple things came up and uh, they worked right through it. When things happen, we just adapt to them. So yeah. congratulations. Um, I think you're going to love it. We're super excited. So this is my grandparents' house. So I grew up cooking in the kitchen with my grandmother. So now it's great that my kids will be here and generations to come of memories. And we're super excited about it to really start here. Yeah. A fresh start, but with good memories here already. Cooking is, is innate. We love to give, and, and when you cook, it's like giving a piece of yourself to somebody. It's interesting because we're so busy, right? We all, we all got jobs. I travel the world, you know, 345 days a year, and yet, you know, for me, when you can sit and share a break bread, share a meal together, it's mm -hmm. the most amazing thing. What do you do, what do, you do for a living, Shannon? Uh, I'm a teacher now. Hey, our foundation is very pleased and, uh, and, and proud and Ferguson, an amazing partner of ours. So we appreciate them. And uh, what's the first thing you're going to do in it? Well, it'd probably be spaghetti and meatballs because our son loves that, meatballs. Yeah. Yeah. J Jameson loves to, to, to make meatballs. So I might pull something uh, out of your family oh, table. Oh, yeah. That's so well, awesome. So. Well, enjoy it. I'm going to get back. Uh, I just wanted to call and say, hey, congratulations. Right, yeah. right. Thank you so much for this. this uh, is you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> really good yeah you can see how it's going to come together it's so nice to have like a microwave <laughs> with the handle now we can open it so we decided to save the last unveiling for you for helping oh. us from the beginning so you get to unveil the last appliance <laughs> thanks so much all right Ooh. there you go 
It's awesome. actually really right. nice. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys so much for coming out here today. It means a lot to the Meehans and it means a lot to the Robert Irvine Foundation. You guys are making an incredible impact and in changing these guys' life for the better. I really appreciate what you guys did here today. Uh, it, it means so much to, to us, to me personally, because I know the way in which it'll help us make this our own house, uh, become like our own family place. We haven't had that in a really long time. We've always had each other. Uh, now having that here, though, it's, it's it's going to be tremendous for us. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Really awesome. Thank you so thank much. You for us be a part of this. Well, we just wrapped up for the day, but there is still so much to do. And this is just the beginning of a new chapter for the Meehan family. Let me tell you, the Robert Irvine Foundation's sole purpose is to help heroes like Shannon. Thank you all for being a part of this. And now, please welcome country music singer, songwriter, actress, and television personality, Kelly Pickler. Hey there, I'm Kelly Pickler, and I'm thrilled to be a part of Salute to Our Heroes because I'm all about serving those who serve. So thank you, friend. Thank you, Chef Robert Irvine, for allowing me to be a part of something that matters.
say thank you to all of our veterans, servicemen and women, and to all of our first responders, as well as their families. We know the whole family serves. So thank y'all so much. Much love. Hi, this is Jim Galini, Vice President of Residential Trade for Ferguson Enterprises. At Ferguson, helping to create moments like you saw just a few seconds ago is the foundation of what we do each and every day, and it's completely ingrained in the culture of our great associates. We are so extraordinarily happy and proud to partner with the Robert Irvine Foundation and so incredibly happy for the entire Meehan family. As a veteran myself, I understand the commitment it takes to serve in our country's military. As a son and grandson of veterans, I understand what it takes to be a family member in support of those folks serving in our military. So on behalf of all the associates at Ferguson Enterprises and all Americans, Captain Meehan, I wish to thank you for your service to this great nation. Amanda, please understand that we too thank you for the service that you give in support of Shannon as he returns home. To the boys, Brady, Jamison, and Killian, look no further. You have a hero under your roof. Your father is a true American hero. On behalf of all Americans, on behalf of all Ferguson Associates across the Northeast, Captain Meehan, we thank you for your service to this great nation, and we look forward to seeing you soon. So Robert Irvine is a personal friend of mine. We've done tons of great things uh, together over the years in service to our veterans and our military community, our first responders. Robert Irvine is the hardest working man I've ever known. I had the opportunity to serve our military alongside of Robert. This guy is all about helping others. I mean, I don't know how well you know Robert, but his whole story is about taking care of people. He's always there for the first responders, always there uh, for, our, for our warriors, for our soldiers, for their families. He does so much for our brothers and sisters. I have been with him when he's taking care of troops, whether it's in the Pentagon or in the front lines where he's working out with them. I think so highly of him because he cares so much about our veterans and first responders. I've seen the tears, I've seen the passion, I've seen the commitment. It's incredibly inspiring to me. That he's gonna raise money for the foundation that supports so many different programs around the country and around the world. It's so important during these times, so thank you, Robert. Robert, we love you. Hi, I'm Terry Connell, Senior Vice President of Sales and Sales Operations for Comcast Business, and I'm here with my colleague, Donna Cobb. Comcast Business and Robert Irvine go way back because we have a shared sense of doing what's right. Right for the frontline healthcare and essential workers, first responders who put themselves at risk every day to keep the rest of us safe and healthy. Together, we're recognizing those who have given so much and helping them not just to bounce back, but to bounce forward. Even more importantly for me personally, is seeing firsthand the great work the Robert Irvine Foundation does to give back to the men and women who serve or have served for our great nation, protecting our freedoms. We're so proud to support the Robert Irvine Foundation and all it does for our military veterans and first responder communities, people like you. Comcast tradition of hiring and supporting the military community began with our founder, World War II U.S. Navy veteran, Ralph Roberts, and has continued today with our commitment to hire 21,000 veterans by the end of 2021. It's an incredible honor, and I'm humbled to be standing here today at the home of this great American hero, Colonel Greg Gatson. I'm incredibly proud of the impact we've been able to make together in partnership with the Robert Irvine Foundation. Let's head on in. My name is Colonel Retired Gregory Gatson, graduate of the United States Military Academy at West Point, former football player, where football was a, a big part of my life. My motto was five and fly. We had a five year service obligation and my plan was to, to do my five years and, and get out and, and find my way back into football. But I fell in love with being a soldier. I fell in love with the mission of, of leading men and women and the camaraderie that went along with being a soldier. And I was wounded in May of 2007, intubated on a feeding tube requiring surgery every other day to repair my blood vessels and clean out my wounds. And so on the 24th of May, the doctors, in fact, um, amputated my, uh, my right leg above the knee. My children were 13 and 14 years old. I was stationed at Fort Riley, Kansas. Um, I was evac here to Walter Reed in Washington, D.C. And so my family's 
their lives were upended as well. I mean, my kids were pulled out of school, and you know, we had to start figuring out, you know, you know, life as as I'm configured now. And I went from 210 pounds to about 148 pounds, and I quite honestly didn't have much of an outlook on life. This is a sacrifice that I had to live with the rest of my life. The price I paid, the price my family paid. I say at this point, um, I think mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I just tried to quit. Not having any expectations, not having any dreams, not having any kind of blueprint about what my future held. I just knew that I need, just needed to do the best I could every day. And I was finally contacted by uh, by uh, Mobius Mobility and Dean's team that um, I was going to be um, uh, gifted an IBOC and that the Robert Irvine Foundation was, um, was sponsoring it. I was absolutely floored. I, I could have never imagined. It literally will provide me mobility in places that would not be practical uh, in my prosthetics, in my legs, or even in a standard wheelchair. I can go out in the snow, I can go in the sand, I can go on the beach, I can carry it with me, I can put it in the back of my vehicle. Absolutely is a game changer. You know, for, for me, for the majority of my adult life, I was able to talk to people at eye level. And so all of a sudden, um, your point of view has changed. You're now looking up. Because of the generosity of the Robert Irvine Foundation, I'm able to live a fuller life. This iBot share that you all made possible is, is giving me access to my entire yard, which I had never experienced in the nine years that I've lived here. I kind of think about my relationship with Chef Irvine. He is a committed patriot. Um, he understands that, that this is not about us, that you know, what we do on this planet, what we do is about what we do for our fellow man and woman and not what's in it for ourselves. My sincerest gratitude and thanks from, from myself and the Gaston family. You all are patriots. We can never thank you for your generosity and support. God bless. Wow, what a powerful and emotional moment. That was a true honor to be part of, and even bigger honor to be able to tell your story. Our mission at the Robert Irvine Foundation it's a great moments just like that throughout the entire year. We're committed to changing lives in meaningful ways and to finding new ways to support our heroes. And they need us more now than ever before. Behind every grant we give away, every makeover we do, and every piece of equipment we fund, there's a real person whose life has been changed. Your generosity enables us to do more, serve more, and change more lives than we did the year before. Your support makes all of this very possible. So, let's make more moments like you saw tonight happen. Join me right now by making a donation. You can text RIF to 76278 or scan the QR code just by holding your camera up to the screen. And of course, you can always visit robertovinefoundation.org and click the red donate button. And remember, for every dollar raised, American Airlines is donating 25 Advantage miles to the Robert Irvine Foundation, up to 5 million miles. And that, folks, is huge. Now, I know there are millions of you watching this right now, so I need you to help us out. Pick up your phone, follow the instructions on the screen, and let's change some lives together. Stay right where you are and get ready for an incredible performance from a very dear friend of mine who's dedicated countless hours to supporting our military. Followed by a very special message just for you from those who have been helped by the Robert Irvine Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome lead guitarist and vocalist for the legendary rock band OAR, Mark Robert. Hey everybody, my name is Mark Robert. I'm in a band called OAR. Thank you so much for including us and this amazing salute to our heroes. Robert, you've done an amazing job and so much amazing work. Letting people know how much you support our veterans, our first responders, we're right there with you. And Robert doesn't realize that he also supports musicians in the studio, trying to be fit. Since we moved in this place, he sent us a ton of this stuff. And, and as you know, musicians in the studio are known for our peak uh, health. 
So thanks for keeping us there, man. And again, appreciate being involved with something like this that shines the light on the folks that do all the hard work, keeping us safe and letting us run around the world, sing songs and say what we want to say. So thank you. Um, the first song I'd like to play is one we wrote when we returned from our USO trip to Iraq and Kuwait. And we wanted to write a song from the warrior's perspective. It's not about us. Uh, it was about the folks we met there. And we wanted to give them a voice on record when we got back. I hope you like it. It's called War Song. Thank you. Tell me this won't last forever Tell me that I'm not alone Tell me this will come together now goodbyes to all the things I had saved Out in the driveway we laughed on the moon I'm among my friends for now, but I'll be leaving soon, you know Many days from now, I'm sure I'll be back among your graces And for you, I won't pretend No, not at all Tell me this won't last forever. Tell me this won't last forever. 
We should help me get fine, fine, fine. We should help me get fine, fine, fine. Open up your doors when they get back home. song it brings back so many memories I learned everything about myself on that trip everything I needed to know so thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to meet so many folks who are so much braver and stronger than than we are so thank you once again for everything you do I love playing this song next after that one because this song is not like a love song like I'm sorry I messed up it's a song about team and I know everybody out there serving and in the, in the first responders know about team. Uh, in a band, we know about team, how important that is. So this song's about team in the family, team at home. It's called Peace. I hope you like it. I don't want to fight no more. Only want to get to shore. Baby, don't slam that door tonight. Ran another off the tracks That's time we can be back We can save tomorrow if we try I hope it did the same for you. Robert, once again, thank you so much for involving us. OAR, uh, we always make sure that our support is known for not only our veterans, um, active and, and those that are right now just serving by being an example to us. I mean, I always 
make sure that my kids understand uh, the sacrifice and I try to hope uh, teach them to understand the sacrifice that is made out there so we can live a safe life and create um, so thank you once again for the opportunity Robert I'm gonna play one more song this song is about is about love it's about the marathon of love and it's about having that long-term vision and I just always related that to driving in the car uh, people drive to escape you know, I drive to get home. You know, I want to be there. Hey, SAP, even when you might be distracted by some emotion, um, short term, the long term love is there. And that's what this one's about. I hope you like it. It's called Shattered. In a way, I need a change from this burnt to so much for including OAR and the salute to our heroes. Robert, thank you very much. We look forward to seeing each and every one of you out there really soon. And we're always going to have your back. We appreciate you.
Robert Irvine Foundation is committed to enriching the lives of those heroes and their families. It is our vision to take care of those who sacrifice so much for each and every one of us. And this is why we are here today to honor Chris. We have days like this where I get to accept such an amazing gift. Because of the 6x6 power chair I received from the Robert Irvine Foundation, I'm able to take part in a lot more events with my family. We'd like to say thank you to the Robert Irvine Foundation. Thank you to the American people for their um, generous support and um, the mission uh, the Robert Irvine Foundation has taken on for supporting our American veterans. I want to thank the Robert Irvine Foundation for their generous grant, which allows us to expand our online counseling to the firefighters of New York City and their families. I'm a small business owner. And because of the grant I received from the Robert Irvine Foundation, I was able to purchase a POS system. On behalf of all of us at TAPS and the families of America's fallen heroes, thank you for what you and the Robert Irvine Foundation have done to honor service and sacrifice in America. They have been a tremendous partner of USO Metros for over a decade through our Chef Series, the Invincible Spirit Festivals, visits with the troops, and so much more. There continues to be an increase in the number of veterans and first responders who are living with post-traumatic stress and physical disabilities. Grants like the ones that we receive from the Robert Irvine Foundation make it possible for us to continue to place service dogs with these deserving heroes. Thanks to the Robert Irvine Foundation, our organization has been able to survive this crisis, and we're in a position to reconnect over 1,000 combat veterans and Gold Star families with brothers and sisters in arms in 2021. Because of a grant that we received from the Robert Irvine Foundation, we were able to uh, really expand our mission. It's been a godsend to the families to be able to reach out and have the help on their terms. Ease the minds of not only our staff, but also our customers. So many worthwhile organizations out there doing great things, um, but um, the Robert Irvine Foundation is continuing to redefine what is possible. I want to say thank you to Robert and the Robert Irvine Foundation for believing in us and supporting our mission to place life-changing service dogs with veterans and first responders. I want to thank Robert Irvine Foundation for this amazing partnership. Thank you from our family. Thank you so much. And for understanding our mission and joining us in a partnership to serve those who serve us. Thank you.